Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Farming Simulator, where we're kind of, I don't know, making a conclusion to the previous episode. I was going to be doing something else at this point, but yeah, I think there was a better way to do it. Let's step through all the process of harvesting these fields, just for the fun of it. Um, this guy, let's fire him up and toss out the tube and go and dump him off, get him ready for the next one. Uh, let's see here. Where do I need to be? That looks pretty good right there. Yeah, stop. Go backwards. He's just rolling downhill with the uh, with gravity. Okay, that is full. Nope. It's waiting for me to... I don't have a true break. When I hit the break, it eventually starts backing up. I tried using it as a break. There's an option to do that. But it makes you double step in order to do it first one breaks and then you let off and then you okay you're not wanting to do that if I were to do that nope then it's a two-step process to be able to back up and that was more annoying than not having a true break are we empty we're empty oh okay that makes a little more sense all right so we need to dump off this corn header um oops Backwards is backwards. Let's do it this way. Is there enough room between these trees to do something like this? Yeah, let's dump them off right here. And do I need to select them to drop them? I do. G. There we go. And just kind of line him up for his next job. It takes a while for the wheels to turn on these things. If I just start turning... It's a long time before he actually starts, especially if I'm already turning this way and then try to go back. You know, so I've got to remember to... Uh, this isn't quite grown yet. To... Uh, oh. Hmm. To uh, slow down to make my turn. I'm just wondering about something here. Let's leave this over here. Is it going to stop at the end of the crop even though it's not at the end of the field? I guess there's a good experiment to do. This was one big field that I just simply put a different seed in at this end. Huh. Well, I guess we'll find out. Anyway, what are we doing first? Turning him off, jumping back into the warrior, which is three or four back. There we go. Let's go dump this the seed. Start the harvester on the other side. That thing's gonna fill up so fast we'll never get back there in time, huh? think this through. I wanted to start the harvester in our canola field over there. The old harvester. Just to get that going. If we did go out and get the new harvester, he could do the whole field in one tank. And not have to worry about dumping them. And I think there's room to turn it around on that field. There are no uh, buildings at the end. This field coming up right here. We will take out the sign. You know, do that every time. So we'll just you know, get that out of the way right now. Wow! We're gonna talk about uh, steering not uh, not responding very quickly. <laughs> well, okay, don't worry about hitting that sign anymore. But if we got the new big harvester. He will have trouble with the rocks over there in the back corner. The little harvester. We got to run back over here and dump his tank probably twice. No, it's canola. It's canola. Maybe not. Tell you what, let's do it right now. Canola will take a much longer time to fill the tank. I know the door's on the other side, but I get stuck on that wall. All right. And he has such a small header, it will take many, many passes to be able to actually fill it. Okay, it's just, just still have time to do what I want to do. Yeah. That right there is the watering trough I was talking about a couple episodes ago for you, for me, a couple hours ago. That if you fill up your water tank there, you got to pay for the water rather than dipping it down into the river and filling up. All right, that works for me. Higher. 
All right, that's canola. It's going to feel quite slow. So, E out of that. Get far enough away. That was a long run to get out of the noise. Okay, so let's go dump off the sunflower seed. I think we might... It's canola over there too, right? Three, 13, that's soy. Soy and canola both take a long time to fill up. We might not need two, two uh, uh, trailers. It's possible we don't. We do have rain coming in though, so we don't want to leave this in the back of the trailer. So let's go dump it. Then maybe we'll just dump off one trailer. Which will be an interesting experience. No, I guess that'll work out. The dumping is on this side, so we can pull through and drop off the trailer. Yeah. So we want to... Right there. Let's take a peek. Uh, G, till we get to there. He is dumping on the back. That's good. Though we could dump on the left. Now we'll keep it to back. And dump is I, right? Tip side back. There it is. Unload. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll drop off the back tipper and pick up the header for that harvester all on the same route hoping that it's a ball joint attachment hope 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 let's yeah we'll take this inside one here um turn you off okay, you're pulling through you're stopping at about there still have the back one selected yep you. And theoretically, we are going to back up to that tongue over there and make an attachment. <laughs> no problem, right? Alright, need to get out here a little bit first. This way? No, this way. Yeah, not enough room. Let's go forward a while. There we go. Alright, curving there. Are we going to see a, a hint? No, we're not. Let's see here. What do we got to do? We're close. I just don't know if it's the same kind. It's not. It's not a ball joint, so I cannot... Boy, I would think it'd be one right in that slot, though. Am I just not lined up properly? It is not going to give it to me. Huh. So does that mean a pickup truck can't even haul it? The tractor can without the trailer. I guess we do this in two trips. Tractor should have every kind of hitch on it. I really thought those would join up. It looks like it's a, you know, a slot just made for this thing. Right there. Okay, well, we'll do this the hard way. Now, can I make this turn? I'm going to have to go around the other side. Yeah, that's going to be tight. Are you going to scrape over there? Nope, you made it. Okay, we'll, we'll go through here. Alright, well, let's get the harvesting going, then we'll come back and look at how much this harvester over here has filled. Since we've got four fields to do, I may cut out a lot of the uh, driving in between. Might be the way to make everything fit into this episode. So I'd like to go through and do some cultivating, too. Hmm. We're going to have every tractor running this time. I have a feeling by the time this episode's over, we're racing the rain up there. Which is another reason to we get the other harvester out, huh? Probably is. Okay. Well, we're committed to this one, so we'll get this one done with this harvester, this uh, New Holland one. Alright. 
I snip across this sharp turn like that and down the bend like so. Get your tail wag over here. Actually, no. That uh, front dolly is absorbing all of the all the movement. Okay, where are we? We're over there. <laughs> okay. Let's actually park it up over here so we can leave it. I'll have to move the, the trailer. Alright, so Q. Uh, GQ. There we go. Let's run over here. And hop out, grab him, go hook up. Get him started. Now this side? Yes. Missed that one a little bit. There we go. And X. No. Let's try G and X. There it is. I'm just coasting right now. It's not even trying to slow down. Brakes. Alright. What are we going to do at the other end there? I seem to remember there was a problem with this one. I need to take the headland off at the end. I had a hard time planting it, right? I had a hard time uh, uh, plowing it, that was for sure. Yeah, we're too close to the buildings here. Let's take a pass through here. Right there. Are you out? And you can go there and back. And then I'll stop you. So, let's see here. Tab over to this guy. Let's get him on his way. Well, a little further. There we go. And technically that probably should have been on some kind of a dolly. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Through the magic of editing, I think I'm just going to appear right over here. <laughs> I only managed to take out one signpost. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is way overkill for this little field. He wasn't really bought for this little field. I see Helper E's grain tank is full, so we gotta go deal with that. Let's get this guy going. Open him up. So this is the Massey Ferguson. Uh, I must have hit X. Completed their task. Let's try that again. Are you C? All right, so that is barley. Okay, and we're leaving. Yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll bail that. Let's get back over to Tab. He is full. All right. So in that case, just shut him down for now. Unhire, shut down. Okay. Let's find a tractor. We'll grab a, a smaller tipper. get him up and running again. Faba had talked about jumping onto a map with me. This probably would have been a good episode if had some help. Have him uh, running one field and tractor and tipper and get them going. I don't know if I can haul this guy. I'm not convinced that little red uh, little case uh, harvester tube can get over the top of him. Let's go with what we know works. This guy right over here. Uh, 
There we go. Much more comfortable inside. More comfortable than surfing the roof, put it that way, or, or riding the hang glider outside. <laughs> So let's just do something <clears throat> like this. Alright, now does this one have the option to tip the tube? It does not. Sliding up and down doesn't do any good. Yeah. Doesn't... This one changes that. Okay. How do we do here? We did less than half, so we are going to have to come back and do this again. Haven't got a warning for the other guy yet, the other harvester, the uh, um, New Holland. So he's doing fine. There we go. Why did O not work? There you go. Alright, hire you out. Everything's going to line up properly. No, it's not. Unhire. Let's come back and get this one. Right there. Now we're happy. Now we're happy. Kind of. Left one. Okay. Up out of you. And he's off. We can leave him there. Where do we need to be? Think here. We got... Got him running back and forth on this one. Oh, back and forth on this one. That's where we need to be. Okay. He wasn't supposed to continue. Where is he at? He's right over here. Yeah, that was just a quick little temporary thing. Um, just two rows, you, you know? Um, hmm. Okay. And you are almost full. So we do need to bring the tractor trailer over here, which is not over here because we couldn't get the header to mount to it. So we got to go get that now. <laughs> Alright. How are you out? And... That's a tab back like three times, right? Yeah, let's just do it with this guy. Helper D is almost full. And not this way. Yes, it is that way. Spin around. It is this one. The bridge is ours. The other road has a ground crossing, not a bridge crossing. C is almost full. Yes, it's much easier to do this when the fields are next to each other. They're rather than running back and forth across the map. So both the big ones are full. And we're dealing with barley in one and canola in another. So if I were to rehook both tanks, I could make one trip and get both. D is full. Um I'm thinking D is down here. Barley fills up faster than canola. So down here 24 is the one that's full now. So we'll go there first. That work? Yeah. And we need to get him down into there. Which is always a thrill. Too much. There. Too much. There. No, too much. Okay, looking for that. There you are. Q, we're in. Alright, let's go dump some barley, and then we'll go dump some canola. Then we'll run back, empty both of them, and then go back out and deal with it again. There's canola up here, too. So we could, theoretically, catch the little red case in one of the, the pathways. 
Okay. And he's at the right side. Good. That makes it easier. Alright. First one. That's a different end. Yeah, it's not a uh, adjustable aim to it. It just simply goes where it wants to go. The question is, are we going to have any more? I don't want him to drive across the other trailer and put any grain in it. Or it won't be able to accept the canola. So I've got to be careful how I uh, approach this. But it looks like we're going to empty the harvester before... That's right, the harvester took 12. 12, 5. And we're coming up on 12 here, so this trailer must hold 20. Okay, so not a problem there. But still, I can't move forward and have him put a little spurt into this back one. So i got to back up. So he has no access to it, like right there. Don't you do it! Okay. So, looking down at our bottom right corner we have 12, 5, 11, and 0. Let's put canola in that 0. Rain has not started yet and it'll be sunny after the rain. Just got the, the upgraded forecast. So though we are spread out all over the map now, I think at this point we should be able to handle this. Dump canola in there, come back, dump off the red case, and dump all these and go back and make the circuit again. That should accomplish the goal. Now that I'm doing a little bit of snipping on this episode to make it all fit, I have no idea how long I've been recording. I'm just going to record till it's done and snip it till it works. And for the sake of ease, I'm going to just cut through the field. Now, just to show you something. Even though we have barley going in first, it will not register. It's not capable of putting any in there. As long as we get something into the proper ones, now we can roll these underneath the harvesters all we want, and they're they're only going to dump in the in the tipper that that uh, can take it. So the trick is to get is to not let the first harvester contaminate all the trailers. Then you're set. So three trailers on here, handling multiple crops, is doable. That's why it'd be fun to uh, have several farms, or several uh, fields all in the, in the same area, and just, you know, th three different uh, crops growing amongst them. They're all harvesting at the same time, and you're rolling through and just catching harvester after harvester, go and dump it and go back. Yeah, it's quite the quite the thrilling challenge. I enjoy it at least. All right, so we've got plenty of capacity for the other. Let's see, I'm going this way. Car coming for the other uh, harvester, the case harvester. We're going to dump him off. Then I'd say we'll dump both trailers and go back and make the circuit again. Whether we replant these fields right now, I don't know. I want to get the poplars going. I want to get the greenhouses set. Then I want to get built up toward taking on... This doesn't feel right. I took the wrong turn. Yeah. Built up uh, field five so we can do that big harvest and kind of call this series done. We will have accomplished pretty much everything the game has to offer. And then I want to dive into a new map and do something until November 14, I think, when the the platinum version of the game comes out. And that's when the South American map and uh, sugarcane and the new equipment and new animals and new vegetation all show up. I want to dive into that map afterward. So whatever map we do pick to go in between these two will probably be more of a specialized series. Maybe just logging or maybe, I don't know, we'll figure out something or just a particular kind of animal husbandry. Though it is kind of hard to do that. Once, you, once you've cleaned up the sheep, it's not all that thrilling anymore. <laughs> so cattle is a lot more variety to it. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. 
Let's go and dump this. Yeah, we'll do a barnstorming. It lines up well with the uh, with the ramp over there. All right, I'm on the rear one, so G brings me to the front one, and I dumps. And G and I. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get the case over there. Yeah. Um, D is finished, but he's at the very end over there. Let's just go to the case. In which case, everything that's left is now... Um... Canola. No, it's not. Oh, it isn't. That is... That's canola there. That was soy over there. I didn't have two different crops. I actually had three. Okay, so I have to do this one right. Yeah. This is nearly full. And that's this one here, Jay. That is... Zoom! That's canola. Alright. We need to dump him. And we're going to have to do it in the field. No way around that. Unless I stop him and drive him out. But since I'm not using crop destruction, yeah, I'll we'll go ahead and do it. So I'll just do my best to stay further out so he never contaminates the rear trailer. And then when he pulls out, he shouldn't uh, be in the same pathway as, I, as me when I pull out. I'll leave him right there. He'll finish dumping off. He holds six, so we're about halfway empty with him. Could look inside the grain tank here. Almost there. There we go. So if I pull away this way, Something like that. I still have zero in that last trailer. Okay. So that's canola and this is soy. So I never could have done all three at a time. That would have been quite a surprise had I remembered I was supposed to be going to him next. But we are needing to get to him. No cars. And he's going to turn around right now and give us good access. Okay. And once we dump him, he should be able to handle the rest of this field. Plenty, since we sheared half of it off at the other end. Yeah, all the equipment does really well except for the plows. That's the one thing that this game did not program well for the AI. I'm curious if there's going to be a Farming Simulator 19 and if it will have fixed it by then. Alright, cruise control is at 6. I didn't use it for the last one. Let's see if we can use it this time. Why? Oh, maybe because that first trailer didn't qualify. Waiting for me to get the second trailer nearby. Okay, three is cruise control. And one is slow down. Oh, oh, speed up. Speed up, speed up. There we go. And slow down. One more. There it goes. So we'll dump him down. Um, he's got a lot in there, so i got to get ready to stop right here. Are you going to wait? You're, you're empty? You're empty. Okay. All right, so he can finish that. Um, I guess we're kind of done there. Take this back. Uh, dump the canola one more time. Bring all the equipment in. I guess we could start uh, planting poplars. Yeah, we could do that. Doing that in the rain shouldn't be a problem. Just getting all the grain in that was the problem. Get in while it's dry. And I took the wrong turn again. Uh-uh. Not going to do that again. Let's... <laughs> I need the road with the bridge. There. I can think better out here. Or in here. It's too noisy out there. watching him over there. 
Okay. Well, who drove off the road there? <laughs> All right, so I'm wanting to get the rest of him. Let's... Yeah, when he turns around, we'll empty him one more time. Then the rest can go into the little, uh, little trailer over here. Then we'll get these dumped and... I guess... Go pick up the... Uh, uh, the poplar planter. Yeah. Curious, while well, I'm kind of waiting here. Well, seed radish, where are you at? You're still kind of in the middle. Yeah, it does take all the stages. I thought the well seed radish only did like the, the first and the end, it was like it was a sped up process. But I'm remembering that wrong. So, gotta wait for him to go through the whole spiel. All right, that enough? That's enough. Right there, and two. Speed it up a little. And one. Okay. And that makes at least two thirds, getting close to three quarters of the field done. So he'll definitely have capacity for that. We're already empty. He's just shooting off little spurts now. So we'll pull off. He won't accidentally contaminate that because it won't let him. Let's dump these. Helper C has completed. That's the other end. I'll... Hmm. Just thinking... We want to... I can't close up the harvester just to keep the rain out until it's dumped. Which is weird. It doesn't let you do that. Alright, what are you? You're the rear one, so let's G and I. And G and I. So we'll just park this off to a side. And what? Where's the Massey Ferguson? He's got a... He's at the back of field 7 with a... a uh, cultivator on him, isn't he? I think so. So, let's just... Whoa. Takes a while to turn those wheels. Alright, let's... G and Q. Let's go get the... the... Uh, poplar planter. There we go. Always feels better in cab. Clear and clear. And nobody out there. Wow, this thing's got some power. Really zippy. Doesn't turn long corners well. But he does break some speed laws, that's for sure. And he tracks well, too. I was worried I'd be in the curb by the time I turn back. Do wish you could run the windshield wipers on these vehicles. Even though the body's dirty, you should be able to clean the glass. Alright, clear there, clear there. Long, long ago when I took driver's training, the instructor made us say clear, clear, clear. In other words, 
once to the I guess once to the left, then the right, then the left again. And he wanted us to actually say the words so he knew that we were looking. And ever since then, that just ingrained into me. And I got to say it to myself. <laughs> Alright, we're there. Yeah, but let's watch that connection. Let's see what hooks up to what in there. Uh, Q. Okay, the top. The two points down there. And the power takeoff, the yellow right in there. Which turns this guy, which is a digger. And also sends... Okay, that's right. Um, all that powers is the digger. The box sits up on top and it drops off one tree at a time, but really that's simulating someone standing there, taking it out and setting it down in there. We'll see you when, that, when we run it. Um, fastest way to, to see this happen would be to drive straight over to the pigs and just load up one right off the trailer. Then afterward, I'll, I'll, once he gets working, I'll go drive the, uh, uh, the trailer over. And we'll continue from there. Let's get out to the pig farm. back in alongside of it. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? <laughs> Swing around, not hit that, that low roof. Before I get pinned in there, let's go release these guys. There we go. Alright. Let's do that again. Let's go wide. What is that noise? You guys are kind of noisy, you know that? <laughs> There's a big butt. Who's doing the honk, uh, the, the oinking? I guess it was him. Okay. Now, can I... Yes, I can. At what point can I load... All you have to do is be near it. You should see the little load symbol down the bottom right show up. I hope. No symbol. Alright, we'll hit R to see what happens. There it is. Can I do it again? No. I only get one. Alright, we're just going across the street here. So, because we got rain coming, maybe this is the way we'll do this. We'll see. Wow. That's back heavy. As I was turning, nothing was happening because my front wheels were up. Interesting. Does it pop? No, it doesn't. No, well, now we're going downhill, so it's not going to show it. Anyway, we want to be going this way. Let's see this happen. I'm going to hire it out just so I don't have to worry about trying to be straight. So that we can spend our time back here. So, we're going to till up the dirt. We're going to drop the plants in as if people were standing on both sides there, grabbing from the uh, the box and, and dropping them in. And let's see here. This then goes through and shreds all the dirt back over the top of the plant and, and effectively plants it. So that's how that guy works. Okay. Still don't know when that rain's going to happen. Let's let him do his thing, and we'll come back to him later. Let's Uber on out to this guy and get him put away. And get the, the tank emptied. So, i got to drop him on his tree. No, he is a trailer. That's right. That's what I was mistaken. I set him all the way over here thinking that I had to drop a trailer off. It was the other one that needed the trailer. Okay. So in that case, we just need to drop him off. Alright, so... G and, Q and V and Q and Q and X. No? Okay, let's try this again. We lost it. G, V... 
X. That's what I wanted. And Q. Okay. And... I'm thinking it'd be easier to put the corn header on this first. Turn. And that's from the other side. hook the tree. Though I'm sure that thing would take that tree right down. And we'll hook up the back end here. Get this put away. <laughs> Didn't check for traffic. Hopefully it's it's okay. Now we got to go underneath quite a ways. There it is. Alright. Everything's good. Let's um, G and X and go. J has completed their task. J would have been the case harvester. Okay. So we have three harvesters partially filled that need to get in before it rains. Do we dump into a trailer? Or do we just take right over and dump right into the, uh, the grain hopper there? Huh. This one will dump into a trailer. That trailer right there. That should handle it. This one, I think we will dump him off right over here. And he's not the one selected, so G and Q. Leave him there. Let's go dump him off over here. Which means what? Which means going around this side of the grain silos, tossing out the tube, and then skirting along the edge of the ramp without hitting a tree. Yeah, kind of tempted to cut those trees down. All right. Oh, no, didn't work. Why did it not work? I have to G, then O. There it goes. Well, that's a long tube. Okay, we'll do something like that. Not much in there, just I can't close this top, protect that grain, until it's empty. Now I can close the top. Kind of frustrating it does that. I think you'd want to be able to, spur of the moment, close up a, uh, uh, seal up the grain in case a, a cloud burst comes over. That might just be an issue with Farming Simulator, it may not be how the actual harvester works, I don't know. This guy... <clears throat> We'll park over here, and for the moment, we'll just leave it outside. I believe they will wash in the rain. Stop. There we go. And... Okay, well, we'll deal with him next. I, I believe the rain will uh, wash them. That's what I'm thinking. We want to go over to this side. So... Hmm. It's been a long time since I've tested that. Did we test that last time and find out that it didn't work? That it was just an assumption that failed, or was that real? I don't remember. Can I make it through all of this? I don't know if I can. I may have to go get that... Uh, in fact, I can do this. Um, let's do it on this side. We own this field. Let's just do this. I don't think I can make it through that with this guy. So, um, G, V... And Q, and we'll later come back with the trailer and hook that up. And it's probably about time to go check the poplars, too. Oh, they're long tubes. I should be able to just sneak off to this corner right here. Nope. A little more. There you are. Nope, 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 nope. Right there. Right there. So we've got a good supply of everything. I wonder if we should go and dump 1,700 
dollars per thousand liters on soy. That's really good. I see a lot of 15s and 16s. I don't see 17s that often. Mary's Farm wants it, huh? I've got 30. We can handle 40 in the two tippers. Hmm. Oh. The two big tippers, that is. All right. I don't have a parking place for this guy. Uh oh. Oh, no. Not that. X. Too many buttons. I don't know where he's going to live. He's probably only going to be used again up there at Field 5. Maybe he can go on the placeable up by the potato farm. That's possible. For now, we'll just continue to uh, clutter up our yard. Right in there. Alright, so I want to get back over to the warrior. And... How you doing? you still got a lot in there. Ooh... One box is going to do almost this whole field. Well, I wanted to see what it looked like at the end. Made long... What are you doing? Okay, you need that much room to make a three-point turn. Okay. You're forgiven. And, well, those trees may be a little bit closer, but otherwise I think we have enough room for this. Yeah. These guys will grow up and be quite tall and bushy. Think about the height of the, the tractor there. Yeah. Okay, so we need to go backwards about four. Well, that one right there. Let's go empty out the other harvester before that rain. I'm thinking when that sun up there at the forecast on the top right of the screen, when the sun goes away, now I take it back. Cloudy's got to happen here real soon. The sun's going to take its place. Either way, we got to get this done. That might be a little far away. Yeah, we'll find out. Does that reach? Yeah, it kind of looks like it does. No, nope, it doesn't. Oh, it does. Theoretically. We'll do that to make it certain. Oh, it coasts with the... Going down the hill. Um, Looking at my timer. What else do we want to squeeze into this? Rain is in. It's just a matter of cleaning up all the equipment. I can do that off field or off camera. And yeah, I think I will do that. Just uh maybe I'll pull I'll come back in when the when we're about to start raining just to kinda see that. And then maybe place greenhouses next time. Yeah, that might be the answer. Yeah, I think so. How do I... <clears throat> GV? There it is. Let's zoom in right there. Let's call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.